Okie dokie, this one's gonna be a real short one. So let's see if it works out. Um, it's everything I did in Bad Ending 2, except this time I'm gonna say I'm sorry instead of I love him. So let's see what that does for us. This is where the angels in our brain places. All at once, my head became filled with cries and screams of people I didn't know of. Pain from men, women, and children echoed in my mind as I gripped at my head, wanting it to stop. The heat around- Pardon me. The heat around me was unbearable. I could barely stand it. I'm sorry! I couldn't take it anymore. I was plagued by visions of us separating. I was warned of why I shouldn't be with James. The more I listened, the more my heart painfully understood. This was beyond my control, and this was something I should not have interfered with. I had to give up. I fell to my knees, feeling the flames around me fade away and be replaced by a room full of falling feathers. I covered my eyes and sobbed, feeling my heart dying. I loved James, but this was too much. I was only human, after all. A warm hand placed itself on my head, but I felt no strength to look up at who it was. You are human. You do not belong in this world of darkness. May your sins be cleansed for all of eternity, and may the gates of heaven be opened to you once more. I couldn't listen to him. My soul was fighting me. My mind was spinning. My body wanted desperately to stand. But I couldn't. My heart could no longer take the tragedy this road was taking me on. I needed to stop. I felt warmth envelop my body and a white light take over my mind. I felt my mind slowly dissolve all of my memories. Everything I went through, everything I had done, gone. And an angel's forgiveness. More feathers! <laughs> it's the wizard. <laughs> the wizard erased our memory. Actually, that would fit in pretty good here. What if the wizard was an angel all along and dandelion and nameless? Hmm. That'd be intriguing. Okay, well those last two weren't nearly as bad. That one, well, this one that we did this now was just kind of sad because she just gave up. And couldn't say goodbye to James at all. She just disappeared into the ether. But anyway, that that was that. That was our first time through Seduce Me Too. So I hope you guys enjoyed what we saw so far. I'm really interested to see how the rest of this is going to play out. Should be pretty interesting anyway. But until then, we're going to take a little bit of a break. A little bit of a breather. And we're going to go and try out Date Warp. Now I gotta teach my voice how to do voices again, because I feel like it's been months since I've done the, done that. It's probably not that long. Anyway, get back on that old voice train. So I hope you'll join me for that, guys. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I will see you later.